Welcome to the Lifestyles of the Rich and Fabulous. Coming at you with another talk based on Hollywood actors and actresses keeping audiences entertained for miles upon movie for movie and keeping the audience entertained. In this episode, we will be discussing... Actress, not even actress, Omatola. Okay, so, um, basically, actress Omatola, who has actually, um, starred in several Nollywood films, um, Basically, is the fashion over queen of fashion over. She's always wearing couture outfits, custom made, custom made dresses with diamonds and unique things, earrings and necklaces, and beautiful lashes. She is the queen of makeups and um, fabulous couture outfits and beautiful anchor wears. Um, good enough to grace any of these fashion walkways. So, basically, actress Omatella's first daughter, Princess, is growing up just like her mom. And um, movie star Omatella recently celebrated her daughter, Princess, on the occasion of her birthday. Interestingly, the striking resemblance between mother and daughter cannot go unnoticed. So, um, basically, she's grown into a beautiful mom just like her mom. And Nollywood diva Amatella Jalad Ikenide has a lot to be grateful for in life as she continues to witness the growth of her children into beautiful women and handsome men. Just recently, the proud mama bear dedicated a special po- post to her first fruit princess who clocked a new age. So there's photos basically on social media of Amatella and her daughters. And, um, you can definitely see the family resemblance. They actually look, honestly, mother and daughter, they look more like sisters than mother and daughter. Omatola looks really, really good for her age. So, that basically, some of the comments on social media basically say that she's aged gracefully. She's a beautiful lady. Happy birthday to you. And basically, from the facial features, from the facial features to the pose and the ever radiant smile, Princess is almost an exact replica of her mother when she was around the same age. And she can be seen donning a beautiful couture Prada dress conformed to fit basically custom made to fit every curve and her mom Omatola is wearing a beautiful couture uh, glitter um, custom made Christian Dior gown and so um, basically um they're basically celebrating um, her achievements. Um, you can see graduation photos of her graduating from her program. And they can also be seen traveling to um, different destinations via private jet. Um, custom made with plenty of red r- uh, leg room and comfy seats. So, um, basically, um, talking about the celebrity family, it's previously reported that Omatella opened up about the impact of losing her father as a young girl. The award-winning actress basically shared details of the faithful day in an interview with media personality Chude Jidenowo. According to the film star, her father's death felt like something died inside her and it continues to affect her till date. So basically, their family is very close knit. They hang out. They travel to different destinations. They go out to eat. Um, basically, when she's not filming her different um, films and things of that nature, um, so um, her family can definitely be seen participating in different events, going out to different charity events, 
going out to different events. So their family is very close knit and they celebrate and live together. Um, and also they celebrate, apparently, um, Omatola's daughter, um, actually celebrated a birthday, um, recently. So, um, they basically sh threw a little celebration for her. Pictures of the event can be seen on their Instagram page as well as on other social media platforms. And there were basically other Nollywood stars that wrote, um, basically on her, um, social media page wishing her a happy birthday and, uh, declaring that they want all of her wishes and dreams to come true. Um, also, um... There's different, um, lots and lots of celebrities, celebrities have flooded her Instagram page with a set of stunning pictures, which are taken by her family. You can see amazing pictures as well as other social media posts, wishing her a happy birthday, wishing her a long life, as well as God's blessings. Also wishing herself God's favor and his grace over her life and that she's another year older. And so there's other pictures of her with her dad, Captain in Canada. According to her, he came all the way from work to join her for the birthday photo shoot um, for her birthday. And so all this stuff can be viewed basically on social media. Um, Ovatella actually has two daughters and one son that are, um, as well as the um, husband, wife, and together celebrating in unity on this special occasion and many people wishing her a happy birthday um yeah and i'm gonna tell her actually um went into a little bit more detail talking about the passing of her father's death that something died inside of her and it continues to affect her till date because they were very close they had a very close-knit relationship um they hung out together enjoyed each other's um Enjoy going out to eat and just celebrating and fellowshipping with one another. So, um, another actress, um, that is also a Nollywood actress has starred in several films is Mercy Johnson. And, um, basically Mercy Johnson posted a funny clip about not cooking and cleaning for her kids. So basically in the video, the actress sings along to Jennifer Lopez as his song, Ain't Your Mama. And then at the end of the clip, the mother of four is reminded by her first child purity of her parental duties. So when it comes to Nollywood stars who give fans premium family entertainment, Mercy Johnson Okoji is one movie star who comes up top on that list. Just recently, she had her fans cracking up with laughter following her recent Instagram upload. Like several stars who have joined TikTok, the curvy mother of four is not left out on the funny contents. In a recent video shared, the actress is seen lip singing Jennifer Lopez's Ain't Your Mama as she jokingly refuses to serve her kids food nor do their laundry. So basically, the video, it takes on an interesting turn when Purity, which is um, Mercy Johnson's first child, starts lip singing, um, um, lip singing a masculine voice that reminds her that she is, in fact, their mother and ought to cook for them and do their laundry. Mercy shared the video and accompanied it with the caption, some people say one thing but do the opposite. Some do the opposite and say another. But one last, um, one last not HQ we got to their use wcw is me so i love to bother them all both hubby and her kids so basically um there's video available of mercy johnson with her husband and her kids um she's basically donned in a beautiful couture long gown custom made um a beautiful fabric with beautiful flowered embroidered on the outfit she's wearing beautiful um eyelashes as well as um um, beautiful, um, uh, makeup and foundation. And so basically when you look at her Instagram page, you can see the video and it captures the moment that her and her husband, as well as Prince, her husband, who is Prince Henry Okoji visited her basically on her movie set. The curvy film star in this video is seen rushing over to hug her husband before being instructed by Toyin Abraham to go on her, of which she did. Meanwhile, Prince Okoche has also taken to social media to show the world the beautiful and well-endowed woman he has been blessed with. Taken to his Instagram page, Prince Okoche posted different photos of himself and the mama for whom he had 
whom he held lovingly in all the sides. So um, basically, Mercy Otomala, uh, Mercy um, Johnson Otomala Okoji, um, is basically a Nollywood actress that has starred in several prominent um, Nollywood films. She can be seen in different films depicting different things, keeping audiences entertained. She's basically very classy and carries herself with class. I would say both Omatola as well as Mercy Johnson are both exhibiting Malibu Barbie syndrome. Their husbands absolutely adore them and they are like princesses and Barbies in their households. And so they definitely have like this Malibu Barbie syndrome of all is well and and just like it's sort of like fairy tale princesses in their home. So I mean they don the latest fashion fashion nova dresses. They wear the latest custom MAC makeup, their lashes, um, lipstick, nails, everything is custom made, um, couture top of the line. So they definitely have this facade. I mean, it's basically the lifestyle of the rich and the famous, just the scandalous lifestyles of the rich and famous. And so they're definitely exhibiting like this Malibu Barbie syndrome of, you know, uh, people just expecting people, they're, they're accustomed to being catered to. So they expect people to continue to cater to them and to treat them as Malibu Barbies and princesses. And so this whole syndrome um, that some of these uh, celebrities um, have been exhibiting is definitely something that draws people's attention because sometimes people are not used to a woman being outspoken and a woman being able to depict the people that this is how they want to be treated and this is what they want because it's not every woman that can actually enjoy being celebrated or it's not every woman that enjoys the whole Malibu Barbie syndrome of you know just feeling like they're on top of the world and like everything is just being handed and catered to them I mean these women are like the the rich of the riches right there in Nollywood films they're famous everyone knows their name everyone knows their pictures they're making money they're making movies and basically they're being celebrated and honored in their households as princesses and, and like royalty and it's like this whole Malibu Barbie syndrome and it's like and some people that are famous are like famous for like for for not even actually producing anything that's of any value or that adds anything to society these actors and these actors are bringing sometimes real life scenarios of things that have happened to other people and they're bringing it to the forefront and they're bringing it to the light and they're bringing it for audiences to enjoy because sometimes people can use these vesicles as a way to share their testimonies as a way to share their stories so this Malibu Barbie syndrome that can be so evident sometimes within um, different sectors of society is definitely available here and i mean this whole uh, lifestyle of the rich and famous because society that we know and donning the latest couture outfits the latest makeups the latest perfumes the latest the top of the line diamonds um jewelry all of these different things is all part of the whole celebrity for tom uh, phenomenon um known as hollywood and hollywood so I think it's definitely imperative, um, basically, as, you know, followers and as fans of um, these Nollywood actors and actresses that are helping to bring the stories to the forefront, that we just continue fo to, to foster this whole Malibu syndrome, Barbie syndrome. By continuing to watch their movies, by continuing to support them when they come out with their own brands, with their own perfume lines, with their own cosmetic lines, with their own different franchises and different brands that they're coming out with. So um, this whole Malibu Barbie syndrome is nothing new. It's not something that happens to her. There are some people that since they were in a baby carriage, they've been used to people pampering them and being little princesses. Everyone is not accustomed to that privilege of being Malibu Barbies. Everybody doesn't know what that feels like that Malibu Barbie syndrome. So um, it's basically um, a woe is me on top of the world and they expect everything to be catered to and give to them. And then like, and sometimes when you have some of these actors that are in Nollywood, I mean, sometimes just 
in the moment that they can be emotionally tantramantic in the moment. And it, it, it's like, because they're used to somebody catering to them. So if somebody does something they don't like, right? Oh my goodness. The biggest tantrum ever. And everyone in the room is going to know that they're upset. And everyone in the room is going to know that they're angry. And everyone in the room is going to know that what they're doing is pissing them off. And you're not catering to me. This is not going to work. So the Malibu Barbie syndrome is absolutely out of this world and little tiaras and little princesses and little diamonds is not enough for um people that are accustomed to being catered to that are accustomed to being a part of this whole malibu barbie syndrome world so um basically um to put more of this information out to you guys um i think it's definitely important um that people realize that lifestyles of the rich and famous, that being rich and famous and fabulous and gorgeous, this is not an easy work, guys. This takes a lot of time and energy. I mean, you sit off and you see these celebrities and they look amazing. They have beautiful dresses, beautiful. This takes a lot of work. People don't wake up looking like this. No, honey, this is a lot of work, a time and energy. There are a team of hairstylists. There are a team of nutritionists. There are a team of people that work in the back. They have a makeup artist. They have a personal trainer. They have uh, somebody that does their meals, their meal preps. They have people that work behind the scenes to make the dream work. You sit over and you see these people and they're, especially some of these people that are performers or actors that are entertainers. There's a lot. There's a team of people that work behind to get this team teamwork done you see them everything looks good they're donning they're looking good they're looking fresh they have the best the name brand of everything this stuff doesn't happen overnight so this this is a it's a team of work working together to make the dream work so um as we sit over and we talk about the celebrities of the rich styles and the famous is it any wonder that some of them can be a little bit arrogant full of themselves no but we have to keep on fanning them because they're keeping us entertained these Nollywood actresses and these Nollywood actors with their team of specialists and their team of actresses behind the scene are helping to make the dream work. So let's continue to support our Nollywood actresses, Mercy Johnson Okoji and Omotolo.